Hey all, I know this is not a fancy video, but I just wanted to show you how fascinated I am with the new uh, photometer from our, for Apple. Um, I've, I've been paying for Lightroom for so long and it's like $20 a month or something to have Photoshop on Lightroom. But honestly, Photometer is just as good and it's one-time payment. You can also do like an annual subscription and I think it's like $30 a year and you basically have all these amazing like um, edits that you have in Lightroom. Of course, not as, not as much um, in terms of camera profiles and stuff like that, but I think the fact that they're going to continue updating this in the next few months, you may get actually exactly the same, even better editing uh, capabilities as you would do in Lightroom. So I'll show you like just a, a, a small, um, a small like um, preview of what I have here. So for example, if you look at this one, so you would upload your photos. It's so easy. You just like copy and paste them and it's so fast. It's extremely fast software. Like you can just click and it doesn't crash or anything. It doesn't like, this are all my photos and stuff that I've taken. It doesn't really crash. It's super quick on Apple. Now, mind you, I use MacBook Pro, but I think for any, any MacBook, it will be kind of the same. And you just click and that's like, of course, an edited photo. Say if I click on revert to original, that's how it was. And if I go back to where, how I edited it. So that's like with my Fuji, this is what I took out of the camera and that's the final edit. So look how simple it is. So if you go here, right, and you just click on here, the edit, and basically the settings that you're getting are more or less the same as Lightroom. So if you go like, I love it a little bit like temperature like this, for example, exposure, I usually adjust highlights, look like how, how quickly it captures the highlights as well, I think. And everything is so quick. Like when you start working on it, you see how simple it is. Brightness here, contrast. I like it a little contrasty like that. And then a little bit of clarity sometimes I add if I have like a subject like I do. And then saturation, of course. I love a little saturated because it just makes this kind of like older look, like a film look. Um, and it, one of the cool things about it is the color. So you could just, it immediately picks up the, the reds right now, right? So you can click on the selective color. It doesn't, the, one of the things that it doesn't have is when you actually can click, or I don't know how to figure it out. Um, in Lightroom, you can just click on the color and it changes it. Uh, and it selects the color you want to change. But here, as you said, the red. And, and I found that picking up the colors is much, much easier here than in Lightroom. I found that this in Lightroom sometimes shows us orange but it's red. So I like it a little saturated on the red. Um, and then if I go into the yellow, I also bring up the saturation a little bit. Now green also actually a little bit. Blues, I tend to desaturate a little bit here because I wanted a little like warmer tones and stuff and then dark blues. And it shows you how much color it has in the picture. The yellow, so I love that kind of stuff. This I think is the best one. So on Lightroom, I always uh, tend to like, it's like slower, right? You know, when you use Lightroom, usually these like um, three-way colors and color balance are slower to use. This is just so nice, look. So when you drag it, it's like very, very smooth. So if you go like this, I usually don't have science to this, but I do it like just how it looks. Um, I would do this. And mid-tones, I would do a little bit on the red side, I would say. And then I don't touch this because I don't really understand it. Curves, you can also do the curve if you want, but you don't need to because you already if you change the highlights already, you're fine. Um, or like the shadows. And then one of the cool things that I found here, you also have LUTs. So LUTs are like um, like presets. And one of the things that I, I find here is that we don't have LUTs yet, like, like you do in... In Lightroom, so you get like Fujifilm LUT or whatever, or Fujifilm like um, recipe or something. So I love about this that it's like completely new. So you would just see that you have to make it yourself most of the time. So they have these cinematic ones and stuff, color blindness and stuff, but it's not really like Lightroom is, right? But I feel like in the next year or so, it's going to grow so much more. Uh, then you have grain option as well. One of the interesting parts that I love about this is when you export, so you click file, so you see like my original, 
and the edit original and the edit and then um, one of the cool things is when you export so file export you can put the, the framing is so easy to do so for example if you don't want to frame usually it will be just like this but if you want to add a frame for for example you want to post it online or something or you just like how it looks like you can just pick up a, any any frame from here and look even like this film kind of cool vibe viewfinder and all that stuff circular it's really really cool and then you can just four by five thickness as much as you want like right it's like whatever i usually keep it like about 15 to to 20 corner radius no i don't switch this and then a the color white and then you just click next and it exports your image in the full quality and i think it's i think it's really cool i think this software has a lot of potential um for apple users i don't think you can use you should use like Lightroom, I think in the next year or so, I think it's such a great addition to your workflow um, for photographers. Of course, a lot of things need to improve like presets and stuff like that because um, it's completely new. Uh, it's not new, but they bought it recently. And I think it's just, um, it's gonna take some time to get, this, um, to get this to the level of Lightroom. But for what I'm seeing right now, I already bought it. So it's, it's incredible. Like I basically, the reason why I love Apple for this reason, not a lot of reasons I don't like them, but the reason why I love Apple is because they don't do the subscription based stuff. Like when you get a MacBook, you get everything. You want to buy um, Final Cut, you buy Final Cut. Um, you want to buy this, you buy, you can also do it off the bat. You can buy the whole software. It doesn't have to be a year. I think it's about 120 or something. Overall, I'm really happy with this. Um, and I think I'm going to continue using it. Um, hope this was useful. Let me know if you ever used it before as well in the comments. Um, let's connect as well. I'm on Instagram. I've been trying to get back into photography again. Um, it will be cool to, to connect. See ya.